In this second podcast, I shall be introducing the use of methods in classes and objects. So I am going to load NetBeans and here we can see the main method and the class person which I have done for the first podcast. Now let me start by defining a method. Basically a method is the object oriented language term for subroutines or for functions and procedures. Basically a, a method contains a group of Java programming statements that perform a specific task which is usually related to the class that we are working in. And I am going to explain methods by using simple examples. Consider this class person. This class person has three attributes, the name, the surname and the age. However, there aren't any functions associated with this class. And what we are going to do now is we are going to introduce functions that this class person can do. A very basic function is that of displaying on the screen these three attributes so that the user can see their content. From now onwards, I am going to use the term method to describe a function or a procedure as it is the correct object-oriented term. So I am going to write a method that will display the contents of this um, uh, person on the screen. Now, a method starts, in, in our case, is going to start with a public void the name of the method. In, in this case, I'm going to, to name the method display details and an open close brackets and an open curly bracket and a close curly bracket and this is our new method and I'm going to write the contents of the method here system.out.println name Name. and age now if I if I go in my main class and after that I have defined the, the contents of the object, I will invoke my new method, as you can see here, and I will run this class, this method, actually, by like this. Here, you can see the output of this particular method, which is outputting the, the contents of, of, of person. Let us write another method. Um, as you know, here in, 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 in person, we are manually inputting, actually manually setting the contents of, of these attributes. Now, suppose that, that, that um, uh, instead of setting them from here by hard coding them, we would like to, to, to have a method in person that would ask the user to enter the, the, the name, surname and age via the console. So I am going to write a new method, public void enter details
obviously I need to import a class scanner and I am going to prompt the user to enter for me the three attributes Notice that this name is the same name here. So this is the actual attribute. And this is our new method. If I go here and I will remove these, even this, and I will, prior to displaying the details, I will invoke my new method enter details, and I will run this class. Notice here that I have a prompt to enter the name, so I'm going to enter the name, the surname, and the age, and then here I have the output of the display details method. I am now going to explain by using the debugger facility what is happening in our program. So I am going to add a breakpoint here and I am going to run the program step by step. So here we have defined the variable p of type person and in this line which i am now going to execute we have created an object person which is referenced by variable p and if you look here this represents our memory and i am going to expand the p you can see the age, the name, and the surname, which currently are empty. Now, if we execute this line of code, this method, notice that now NetBeans have changed the view and now we are in class person, this method, enter details, would ask the user to enter the name, the surname, and the age. And I am going to execute line by line. I'm going to enter the name. Then I'm going to enter the surname. And then I'm going to enter the age. Once that we have entered all these details, and by the way, if we look at our memory now here, we can see that age is assigned to 25, name to Matthew, and surname to Shwirab. 
The next method to execute is this one, display details. And if I execute this method, again, we will go in class person, and the display details method is invoked line by line. And here you can see the output. We are outputting the name, then we are outputting the surname, and then we are outputting the age. And our program is finished. Please know that I haven't explained why we have written public void and these brackets here. I will explain these later on in other podcasts. And now we are at the end of this second podcast. For more information, you can visit our website on www.matthewshwerep.com.